downtown Los Angeles. Um, it is my last day here in LA, so of course, I had to make sure I stopped and I'm gonna take you guys with me, so let's go. So I finally made it back home and of course I got the goods. We're gonna go ahead and go through everything I got while I was in downtown LA and I went to one of my favorite stores to shop accessories and that is Joya Accessories. So all right you guys so I got a little bit more comfortable I had to come sit down because standing up the whole time was just not gonna work but I got the items here they are we're gonna go ahead and start pulling them out now, every time I go to Joya, I always end up picking something up for myself. And then I always, um, for the most part, the reason I go is to buy for my business. The thing I love with Joya is that it does not require uh, packs. So unlike certain brands where you have to buy like six per pack, Joya does not require you to buy any per pack. So if I want to pick up one hat or one bag, I could definitely do that. And that's why I love uh, going to Joya because I also get to shop for myself personally. So I bought some personal items and I bought some things for my business. I think I'm going to start with the things for my business first. We'll do business and then pleasure later. So I'm going to show you guys what I got for the business. Now the first thing I've really been wanting to do is add accessories onto the website. I've been saying I'm going to do it for forever, but I finally got around to it. And the first thing I'm going to start off with is with the earrings. I think with summer, like people are just more like vacations, you know, accessories, like all that just kind of ties in. So I definitely want to give my customers options, give them better ways to uh, style their items. So I picked up five styles of earrings. I got a bunch of little earrings in here. And there's some more down there. So the first one is this very fun, colorful one, which I absolutely love. This is what it looks like. Super cute, very colorful. I love the blue gem in there. Typically, I don't buy things with gems in them because they break easily. So when it comes to shipping and things, but I couldn't pass these up. I thought these were so cute. So I picked up this style. And then I picked up a, another summer-esque style. This is kind of like that wooden straw giving very much like Tulum vibe. So I picked up these. These are super cute. I love these. I wish my ears were pierced because I would definitely keep a pair of these for myself. Then, speaking of white, I picked up a white option. Um, again, everything I bought was giving off like summer, spring, summer vibes. So I want these like white and gold chains or white and gold earrings, excuse me. really love gold accessories. Like I'm a gold accessories girl all day. Uh, I know that I'm not only buying for myself, but I'm buying for my customer as well. But I think gold just looks really, really, really good on melanin skin. So I picked up these really cute gold hoops and they're like the chunky style, which I absolutely love. Again, I wish my ears were pierced because I would definitely get these. I love these so much. These are so cute. It's like if your hair is braided or something like that, they can really offset an outfit. The last style I picked up are these really cute uh, gray and gold earrings. So these are the styles that will be on the website. Now I did pick up multiple of the earrings, so it's not just like one because again, this is for my business. So I have quite a few of them, um, but I want to show you guys the different styles that will be coming. So I'm going to actually get those pictured probably this weekend and hopefully I can get them up next week is my goal that's my goal I don't know I have a lot coming up I have a photo shoot coming up next week that I have not even began to prep for so hopefully I can get those up next week uh, the next thing that I picked up for an accessory was this hat this is really cute I bought this as a personal item but I bought multiple of them um, I initially bought them as like a prop for the photo shoots but I bought enough to be able to sell them if I wanted to so they're these really cute flat brim straw hats they have the two holes in here because they come with um 
they come with ribbon that you can tie in there so you can put the ribbon on top but I thought these were super cute especially for the girls who like to go on vacations and wear hats or if you're going like a really cute brunch or something you just want to really dress up for this will definitely kind of offset the outfit and I think this is the last thing yeah this is the last thing I bought for the business so I didn't buy much at all um because I have boxes everywhere like y'all can't see but there's two boxes there there's like five boxes under here full of inventory I have one box downstairs and I don't think anything else is coming in right now the next drop is in June or July I don't know but I have boxes everywhere full of inventory so I didn't buy a lot of stuff while I was at Joya because I already have so much stuff um I really just wanted to really focus on getting the earrings out there and trying and see how that works but I took my sister with me to Joya this time and she found this really cute handbag and I was like Ugh, I'm really not trying to buy handbags right now because I already have so many downstairs that I need to put on the website but I couldn't resist because these are super cute and perfect for the spring and summer so these came in the infamous pink bags if you've been a joy you know about joy i've been down to la and you see the pink bags people know it's joyous so these came in that and this is actually my second take on this i already opened it up the bags come like this all packaged up but again it's my second time doing this video so i've already removed all the plastic and so this is cute because it comes in this little drawstring bag, which I'm super happy because that means I don't have to buy none when I ship them to people. But I found this really cute denim bag. How adorable is this? This is the cutest denim bag ever. First of all, I haven't seen any denim bags in a while. The quality on this is so nice and soft and like durable. And then this right here was what sold me the braided strap it's very durable nice and thick nice good quality material I absolutely love this i'm keeping one for myself my sister kept one for herself um and these will be up on the website soon super cute i love this look at it so cute so yeah so that's all the things that i bought for my business you guys that's it i bought some hats one cell purse and then five styles of earrings um and honestly that was more than what i planned on buying for the business anyway but because I didn't buy that much for the business I did pick up a few things for myself because like I said in Joya you're able to go in and purchase just one of one item if one of one item if you want to so that's what I did now I didn't get as much as I want to get for myself either because honestly within the first like 30 or 40 minutes of being there I was highly irritated and that was because there was this lady she was following us I didn't appreciate the way she was moving around us and I kindly let her know to stop following us because I spend money here all the time I don't need to be followed and she kind of made this excuse that she that's what they have to do was just to you know go around and um, make sure people don't need help and stuff like that I'm like no because every time I looked up from my aisle she was literally standing there like if you've been a joy you know this, the way the aisles are set up they go deep so I understand why they have to keep an eye on people because they do go deep to where you can't see them but I'm pretty sure they have cameras there but literally every time I was walking up an aisle she was staring at us and I don't appreciate that because you're really following us and y'all not doing this to everybody because there was a couple that was probably like a few steps ahead of us and y'all barely talked to them so now I was irritated after I let her know um you know stop following us because I didn't I just didn't appreciate it. I don't like that I don't move like that I don't like that I don't want nobody doing that so she got a little upset I guess because she ran to the room with a little I guess the little office they had or whatever I don't care don't do that to me anyways hi um I ended up getting just a few things for myself um and the first thing I got were I already have these I had to get some more because they're getting old were these satin pillowcases I love buying these from there um, this color matches my bed perfectly it's like a pinky peachy color um, I have them on my bed right now uh, it's too far from me to grab but I have these on my bed right now and I love these um, satin pillowcase is supposed to be better for you to sleep on especially for like your hair and your skin and stuff like that but they just look better honestly in my opinion so I got two of these and then I picked up two hats um, the first hat is just a simple little LA hat um, nothing special but I am definitely a hat girl I am one to always throw on a baseball cap and go that is like my signature things uh, baseball cap my glasses and I'm ready to go um, so I just picked up a new one because it's time this really cute visor at first I was kind of like 
no i thought maybe it was just like grandma-ish but the more i looked at it i was like no we can really style this and make it really cute um, i'm going on a trip soon so i'm like this will be perfect with like um a swimsuit or a swimsuit and a little cover up but i'm definitely rocking this and bringing this so this was definitely a cute find that's what it looks like super cute last two things i picked up yes the last two that i told you it's a very quick haul i didn't get much at all um, due to the time restraints and then me being just frustrated overall but um, the last two things I've been really wanting to step up on is press on nails so I've been really trying to learn how to budget my money better and unfortunately getting my nails done every two weeks for like 70 plus dollars 75 to 100 dollars really in the styles that I want it's just not in the budget I'll continue to get a pedicure because that needs to happen but press on nails have really um been catching my attention lately so i was like let me try these little colorful nails because i always get white ones at that as well like when i get my nails i always get white nails or i'll, I'll get a design and they're white so, so let me try a little color get out my comfort zone so i picked up these two pair of press on nails i'm gonna put these on for next week when i go out of town these are super cute this is what they look like and then i picked these up as well i've seen girls have something similar to this and i thought this was cute so if i can get these to stay on it's definitely gonna be press-ons all summer because I can switch it up when I want to and there's way cheaper I think I pay like two or three dollars for each pair which in the store these are probably like 12 or 13 dollars um and but it's also a lot cheaper than 75 to 100 dollars that they would charge me to go get them done at the shop so press on nails all summer if I can get them to stay on the way I want them to stay and these are good because they say they're reusable high quality and last up to 30 days so we're gonna find out and see um if you want to see definitely follow me on my tiktok or my instagram down below because i'm pretty sure i'll make a video or put a po or post a picture once these um get put up so yeah press on nails for the summer you guys so that's really all i picked up nothing major but i did want to come here and show you the type of things that can be found in joya interested in going now i know i'm going to get the question a lot for this video is does it require a wholesale license or a reseller's permit to shop there and the answer is yes so they do have a physical store in downtown LA and they do have a website that you can shop from but yes both of them do require some sort of a reseller's permit or wholesale license in order to shop with them either of the two so if you are interested in buying such things I highly recommend you to get your wholesale license or your reseller's permit to be able to have access to the things such as you saw today so I hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely let me know by giving it a thumbs up i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely give it a thumbs up and let me know so i can continue to provide more content like this uh, the next video is going to be more so of a vlog style video because i'm going to be prepping for a photo shoot i have next week i gotta go out of town for uh for what i'm doing for house of inspo so i'll probably do a vlog style video to show you guys how i prep and um, get things ready and then i'll do another behind the scenes video of us doing the photo shoot next week so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it for you guys. Definitely, again, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.